Aloha, this is Joe from lovely Manoa Valley. I'm in my backyard right now. My dog's right over there. Maybe I'll show them to you later. I wanted to change up my videos a little bit because they're getting a little stale just sitting in front of the computer. Uh, I also want to, you know, kind of up my video production qualities a little bit. Uh, and that's why you'll see down here I have subtitles, right? Maybe down here somewhere. And that's what this video is all about. I'm going to show you how to you can add subtitles into your videos. There he is. Okay, so I'm back in the house. I'm in front of my computer. I've got a YouTube video open. I'm going to get it running. I have it muted so it doesn't interfere with uh, you're listening to me. But uh, it's kind of cool. You get to see me three times here in this video. I thought that was pretty wild. Anyway, what I want to show you is the closed captioning. You can just turn it on by clicking the CC. And this is not something that I, I put into the YouTube video. Uh, what it is is something that YouTube did using voice recognition software. And, uh, you know, it's come a long, long ways uh, from the, you know, the early 2000s when uh, I was experimenting with, like, Dragon Dictate. And you had to tr spend many, many hours training the software. Now it's, it's pretty, pretty darn good. It's not perfect though, and uh, you can go, so right now, since I'm signed in, I can go to my own dashboard, my own uh, video manager here, and I can, uh, YouTube gives us some options for uh, purchasing uh, transcription um, and translations uh, for closed captioning, but you don't really need to do any of that. This is already published. Uh, YouTube did all the work for me already, but uh, you know it's not perfect. So they uh, what they allow you to do is you can go through, you can listen to your whole video, watch while uh, it tracks the. Um, I won't even do it here. I can put it ahead, all right? And um, I'm not going to turn on the sound, but as you can see, the text it follows along the text and then if I notice that there's uh, something wrong oh I have to edit so if I click edit if I notice that there's something wrong here um, Manoa Valley here is actually they spelt it correctly they knew to capitalize it but had it been uh, misspelt I could just go in here and do the correction uh, I haven't even bothered looking that carefully into this because everything that I've seen looks looks pretty good, at least you know, good enough. Now, if you're really picky or you have a strong accent and maybe uh, YouTube doesn't pick up um, the um, pronunciation as well as it could, and it misspells some words or uh, substitutes words uh, that you didn't say, uh, then you can go through uh, and. Uh, uh, you can relatively quickly uh, change uh, and make the corrections. And in fact, you can uh, change the speed. So if you want to go through very quickly at double speed, uh, you can do that. I'll turn on the sound real quick. I think that's so. So, you know, you could go through there and if you wanted to be really picky, you could capitalize some of the words that should be capitalized. You could add the punctuation and that, but I don't really think it's that necessary. Uh, the closed captions are great uh, to be able to switch on and off, not just for people with hearing impairments, but for anybody who uh, perhaps they don't want somebody else to hear what they're watching or or they just don't want to disturb their spouse who might be trying to sleep. Uh, or for whatever reason you, uh, you know, if you're learning something, sometimes it's good to listen and read at the same time. So there's a lot of good that can come from captions, but uh, not everything has them. So if you first uh, create your YouTube video, you might have to wait uh, a few hours before, maybe less than a few hours, maybe a matter of an hour. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but you might have to wait a little time before the translation is put together in the YouTube video. It won't, it won't appear there right away. But 
Well, once it does, uh, then you can go here um, and you can download your, uh, your file. Now this one here, it downloads as a, an SVD file. Sometimes I, let's see if I can go back. Go back to this monkey tester. I want to see if go back to subtitles here. So it's asking me what language, but it already was set uh, over here. Maybe it was just a matter of me being in edit mode. But see now. When I click Actions, I can download it as an SRT file, which is the more common of these files. And in the next section of this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about SRT files and how you can uh, burn uh, this closed captioning into your video so that maybe on a, you can show this video on another platform uh, and uh, you know, a platform that might not have the closed captioning available, but you can take the closed captioning from the YouTube video and you can burn it into another platform. So that's the next part. Um, so I'm going to take this uh, training I did about theme generators uh, just recently. I'm going to download it as an SRT file and save that. And that went down into my download folder. Here it is. Uh, you can see that I had earlier I couldn't find the SRT file and was only able to download the SVD file. If that's the case for you, it's actually okay. I have a workaround for that, which I'll show you in a second. But first, I'm going to show you this SRT file. Well, actually, first I'm going to rename it because they all uh, from YouTube they all just download as captions. So. I'm going to name this um, theme generators uh, for now, anyway. And uh, uh, the thing about these files is really they're they're really simple text files, uh, at, you know, at the core of them. But you can't just open them by double click clicking. What you need to do is open with, and you, you can open with text edit. Uh, I've already set that one as default because uh, so you see this one uh, this one uh, will work on YouTube but maybe not many other places these SBTD files so what you can do in order to convert it into an SRT file is once you've got it open in a text editor you can uh, select all okay and then you can copy it there is a site here I'll leave in the um, notes below the video uh, where you can actually convert these SVD files into SRT just by pasting it and converting it. Um, I guess the formats are pretty similar, but there's just enough differences that you actually have to convert it. Then you copy that to the clipboard. OK. You delete your original one and paste that one right in and you want to save it okay so now I'm not sure how things work in uh, Windows but in a Mac all you have to do to change it is just change the suffix there at the end and now I have a captions file. I'm going to use this one though because I think that was for a different video altogether. Here, I want to go ahead and put it in the same folder with the actual video file. So I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to use a program called Handbrake. Uh, you can use VLC. There's some YouTube tutorials for. Uh, hard coding a uh, subtitles into a video using VLC, but it's it's really complicated, and uh, this seems a, a lot simpler I've found. So go ahead and download Handbrake. I'll put the 
address the website into the notes under the video. And when you do that, you can, once you get it opened up, I'm sure you can figure out how to get it all installed and opened up. It's, it's compatible with Windows, Mac, and uh, Linux, I think, as well. Uh, so here's Handbrake. Uh, and I had already, already uh, encoded the monkey test it video here. Uh, now I'm going to open a new one so that we can uh, do this green generator video. So I'll go ahead and open green generators. And this one is the destination. I want to put it in the same folder, but I want to rename it because I want to keep the original file uh, as well as the one that's hard coded. So I'm just going to put in a brand CC. Okay. So that'll tell me that it has the brand closed captions in it, right? Um, I'm going to go and Here's the part that I get confused a little bit. It's in subtitles. I want to add all tracks. No, that's not it. Add external SRT. That's what I want to do. So I want to find, go back in, into the desktop where I put that green generators SRT file. Open that in. I don't want to have forced only, um, but I do want to have brand in. Okay. And so really it's as easy as that. We go ahead and we click start and let it do its magic. That'll take a little time. It looks like I screwed up here. I put the brand in here on this line. I shouldn't have that here at all. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead. Uh, we have deep generators SRT selected as the track brand in and I'm going to go ahead and start right here. Okay, so now Handbrake is finished doing its thing, and it turns out I actually put the I put the file in a different uh, folder than I thought, but it's here. I found it, uh, and I can go ahead and open it up. I've got the volume down on there, but you can see that the subtitles there are there encoded in there. Um, I can't turn them on and off; they're they're burned in. And it's all ready to upload to whatever platform that I want to. Um, you know, YouTube. It's already on YouTube, but now I can upload it to a site like a Wealthy Wealthy Affiliate, uh, and uh, the people over there can take a look at it, and they'll have the subtitles if maybe their wife is sleeping next to them, or um, if they have a hearing impairment, they'll have the ability to uh, watch the video and get uh, something out of it uh, without having to listen. So that's that. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as usual, please uh, click like below. I uh, add any comments, questions that you might have. I know it's a little uh, bit of a, some technical stuff in this one. A little technical for me, at least. Uh, some of you, this is probably old hat, and others of you, uh, I hope you got something out of it. Aloha and mahalo.